no extra beat throws. This is what a no extra beat throw looks like. Um, it's basically you're letting go and catching the poi without creating an extra beat like that. Um, the first thing that you want to do is just to be able to try and let go and catch it. And so you sort of do a slow sort of spin and at this point around 9 o'clock you're letting go and then you catch when it comes back down at about 3. So let go and catch. Let go and catch. Let go and catch. Once you have that you then want to be able to do it um, so you release and catch, 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 release and like so. And then um, try and do it uh, spinning with two. Now the way I kind of make sense of this is I kind of do a extension with, with the hand which I'm not going to throw, but sort of at the extensions at my um, elbow and I'm sort of cutting through between the hand and the poi, kind of like this. So you're kind of concentrating more on what the other poi is doing than, than the one which you're throwing. And then obviously you want to be able to do it both directions. And then, ooh, kind of thought that was going to happen. Let me try again. Yeah, and then you can do it in reverse butterfly. So that's doing it in reverse. You now need to be able to do it in forward. Um, and again, you're just um, you're letting go on the up and catching on the down. So Um, yeah, and then and then obviously you want to be able to try and get it so that you can cut through it. Like so. And then you can put it into the chase. Ooh. You then want to be able to do it this way. <laughs> I'm pretty rubbish at doing it that way. And then you can obviously do it forward, which is bloody impossible. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. But you get the point anyway. So, there we have it. No beat, or no extra beat throws. Hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much for watching.